morning, Phoenix High School. I'm Haley Winecoop. And I'm Bailey Tony. Just kidding. I'm Haley. And I'm Bailey. To start off our announcements, SAU is offering SAT prep classes for all high schoolers. If you're interested, go to the College Corner for more information. Any students interested in volunteering at the Boys and Girls Club in Talent can stop by an open house on October 16th from 5 to 7 to check out the staff and facilities. Also, we would like to give a shout out to the following students attending State Improv Festival this weekend. Good luck to Daniel Hine, Sam Bell, Tarina Murphy, Sophie Stryker, Bryce Roy, Daniel Kelly. Also, Emilio Guitares, uh, Carissa Dewitt, Che Mayhews, uh, Christopher Copeland, and Lily Smith. On Wednesday, October 10th in room 420, Chloe Staten will be having a meeting introducing the Sparrow Club. For all students interested, please go check it out. The Sparrow Club is an organization that performs community service to help children in a medical crisis. Jordan Stevens created a segment to help give a better understanding of the club. Roll it! Hi, I'm Chloe Staten, and I'm a freshman. Hi, I'm Omar Ramirez, and I'm a senior. Hi, I'm Osmaida Manuena, and I'm a senior. And we're here to talk to you about uh, Sparrow Club. Uh, for those of you who don't know what Sparrow Club is, it's a Pacific Northwest charity, uh, primarily in the state of Oregon and Washington. Um, and how it works is a school adopts a sparrow who is a kid in critical condition and we organize fundraisers and raise money for the sparrow and all that money goes to the sparrow and his family. Um, the Sparrow Club not only helps with emotional and financial support but, but it also helps students help with charity services within their community. Sparrow Club is near and dear to my heart because four years ago I was actually Phoenix um, Sparrow. I wanted to get this up and running once I hit high school. And so we're trying to get it started and we're hoping to get this up by the end of October. My brother was a Sparrow for North and it not only helps the family but it helps the students see what um, that you're not too young to be able to help out that um, you can still make a change. Our Sparrow's name is Antonio Prince and he is about one years old. We'll go into more details when we have our Sparrow Assembly. Anyone who wants to join is able to join. Uh, our first meeting will be October 10th during lunch in the Diploma Center or Room 420. Everyone bring your lunch and join us for more information about the club. Uh, all the fundraise money will go towards the medical needs of our Sparrow. Central Equipment is sponsoring our Sparrow and helping it get started here. We're so excited to get this up and running. That sounds like a really good club to join. You should go check it out. In other news, <coughs> our sports teams have been doing an outstanding job representing our school. Cost Country had a meet in Bend on Friday, October 5th. Notable improvements noticed by the coaching staff were made by Katie Vermillion, Ashley Voss, Emma DeFrusha. On the boys' side, coaches noted Randy Mena, Jonathan Garcia, and Jordan Easter. These feats were exceptionally noticeable due to the fact that the team was competing at 3,000 feet of ele elevation. The cross country teams will compete in Portland in an 80 team race covering five states on Saturday. The girls' soccer team put up a great fight on Tuesday against North Valley but ended up losing 3-8. to eight. On Saturday, the girls also played Mazama and suffered a loss of 9-0. to zero. Also, our football team played Mazama last Friday, losing a close game of 20-22. to 22. Last Tuesday, our volleyball team swept Mazama 3-0, to zero, but Thursday when playing Hidden Valley, we fell through in three games and lost. Our home game this Tuesday is senior night. We are playing North Valley at 6.30, so make sure to come support us. Me, Haley, and Delaney created a segment to help the student section learn our volleyball cheer so you can cheer along with us during the game. So let's check that out.
Um, today there is an FFA meeting at lunch. Pizza will be provided. Yum, I love pizza. <laughs> Come and find out. Come and find out about upcoming activities. Interested in business or sales? Or maybe customer service? Then come join the Ag sales team. We will be having a meeting at, thir at lunch this Thursday. Bring your lunch with you. In other FFA news, that same Thursday evening at 5.30 in the Commons, there will be spaghetti dinner and a dessert auction with a movie night to follow. Also, we encourage people to join the mediation program. See Mr. Cornett for more information. Students or teachers who are interested in learning to play bridge, the card game of Bill Gates and Warren Buffett, or other wheelers and dealers, please give your name to Mrs. Hale. We at PHTV have noticed that many students at Phoenix High School have a wide variety of skills and talents that the general population might not be aware of. Zach G has created a segment to expose some of our students' hidden talents that you might not be aware of. Hey guys, my name is Jacob Grace. As far as you guys know, I've been doing Taekwondo, and this year I became the U.S. national champ, and also I became a world champ in Muju, Korea. Hey, my name is Nubia Segura, and I'm a singer. <laughs> what inspired me to sing was my grandpa. Um, I love music, and I've just always loved singing. I don't know, entertainment is just my thing. My grandpa would always sing to me, so I guess I got that from him. Because I don't take professional singing lessons, it's always difficult for me to like get my voice in pitch, I think, I guess. But my uncle helps me with that. So. I want to do this for the rest of my life. I want to become a well-known artist and travel around the world and perform for millions of people. Hi, I'm Daniel Johnson. I do Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Uh, I started Brazilian Jiu Jitsu because I did a lot of other martial arts and I just decided that I was going to do something different, so I joined Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Uh, some of the difficulties in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu are um, sparring with a bunch of adults because they're a lot bigger than you and they're harder to take down. Um, I'll probably keep doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu for a while, um, probably not as a career, but I'll continue to keep doing it for a long time. Um, my name is Evelyn Cruz, uh, I play the drums. me to do this was my love for music. Um, the difficulties are like, I guess, getting along with the other members from the group and um, I'm not really going to continue on playing with drums because now I feel like I'm so. inspired me to rock climb is when me and my family went to the rock gym for the first time and since then I've always wanted to rock climb. One of the difficulties with rock climbing is that I'm smaller than everyone else so I, have, so I can't reach as high. I'll continue to rock climb at least until my competitive rock climbing career is over.
be an advisory rep meeting right after PHTV in the library. All representatives, please report right after PHTV. For any girls interested in playing basketball this year, open gyms will be every Wednesday in October from 6.30 to 8. The after school program ASAP is for students who are failing one or more classes. ASAP is held in the library from 3.30 to 4.25. If you want a bus ride home, there are only 25 spots available, so you have to sign up before Tuesday. It is first come, first serve, and we encourage you to improve your grades. Speech and Debate competed in their first competition at Ashland High School this um, last weekend. We had two first place finishes. Micah Furlong and Grace Ceremony won public forum, while also Micah finished first in impromptu. Daniel Kelly and Morgan Freeman got second place in Parley. Morgan also took third place for impromptu. So lately, Phoenix High School hasn't been a very good neighbor to the houses around us in Phoenix. David Mayhew's created a segment to teach us to be a better neighbor to our community. Underneath the trees, watch the sky, confusing stars, satellite. Uh, I think criteria for a good neighbor is someone that isn't a pain in the neck. Somebody who's friendly and helpful. I think I'm a great neighbor. Somebody takes care of things. Good neighbors should be considered of their other neighbors' surroundings and be friendly and always think about if what you're doing will bother your neighbor. Phoenix High School has been getting complaints from neighbors lately about us not being good neighbors, about us not picking up the trash we leave, and making noise. be better neighbors. For now, it's trivia time. Last week's trivia question was, what university did Stanford travel to during their invitational? The winner is... <laughs> Celine Fairmont from Mrs. Neal's class. She said Stanford, and that's correct. So this week, you are winning services from the Sunfire Tanning Salon. This week's question is, when is senior night for volleyball? Please turn in your answers to Mr. Rowe's room after advisory ends. Also, make sure to stay for the Pledge of Allegiance. As always, this has been your school, your people, and, and your, your news. news.